Hey guys, this is uh, Foo Fighter here from Ireland, and um, after a few requests, I got on YouTube for people uh, to show them how to make the animated um, VTF in the top right hand corner for the HUD. Um, basically, I learned it um, by following the VDC, uh, that's the Valid Devel Developer Community, and I uh, followed a tutorial as to how to make a basic HUD modification. And a few guys we just can't get the hang of and I can't blame them because it actually is a pretty hard tutorial to follow. I've added my own bit for making an animated um, picture float on the top right hand corner. You can make it float in either corner or anywhere on the screen really and it doesn't have to be what I make it. It can be anything you want really and you can name the code whatever you want. Alright, so basically what you need for this is a uh, Visual Studio. Uh, I'm using 2005 so I probably recommend that you would use 2005 as well. It would be a good idea to use um, the right <laughs> compiler for um, whatever you're, you're working on. Um, uh, this is going to take its time. Uh, Steam, you will need Steam and you definitely need the Source SDK. So you go ahead and launch that as well. We'll also need a few items that you can get on my site or you can write up yourself, depending. This here is the VTF, and I'm not going to go in in this tutorial how to make a VTF or a VMT. There are plenty of tutorials out there as to how to make a VMT and a VTF material. This is my own animated one that I made for the top right hand corner. Uh, oh yeah, that's coming out a bit freaky. Uh, sometimes VTF edit doesn't like me, but that's alright. Um, it'll come out grand in the game, or it should anyway. Uh, I'll just go get my original version. Uh, where is that? Let's go to my Steam folder. Um, and in my Steam apps, this is the folder you'll be going to most of the time. Your source mods folder, and whatever the name of your mod is. So in this case, for me, it's my Supernatural mod. And I'll be getting my materials. Under the hood folder, right? That's grand. I should show you what mine looks like then. Ah, yeah, that's it. It look better like that in the game because the palette for VDF edit isn't exactly great. VDF edit, you can get that if you do Google for it. It's one of NEM's tools. Very, very, very good little program for making um, graphics for the Valve uh, Source Engine. All right. So here we are at Microsoft Visual Studio 2005. <laughs> And um, I want you to open up this link, which is a link to my wiki space, and um, you'll see all the code that you'll need for this. So we have the hood devilstrap.h, which is a header file. Everything in there is perfect, working grand. And here's the hood devilstrap.cpp. Now you can call, you don't have to call these devil's trap or anything like that. You can call them whatever you want, so long as the two of them are the same. And that. Um, so, on, so once the name is the same for them, this the header file will point towards CPP and you'll be okay. Um, just need to copy all that over into a CPP file now in Visual Studio. We also need this little bit here, which is part of a res file. But you can download the whole res file by right clicking and save link as here. I've already done it and I've got it here. Right click, open, and it's just a text document. But the only thing you're editing is this little bit at the top, HUD import. That's all you have to add to it. You can you can edit all these bits yourself in your own time to to sort of um, just make the little thing in the corner perfect and sit in the panel. Uh, you, you get used to it yourself because if I got it, if he'll be able to get it running, no bother. Um, right, so I'm gonna close Visual Studio and. Uh, We'll go to Source SDK, which is now open. And uh, some of you might have already done this and you have started on your mod, but I'm going to show those of you who haven't how to do this. Um, choose your engine. I'm using the orange box, but it doesn't really, there is no difference between the two of them when it comes to this tutorial. Uh, double click and create a mod. Um, modify Half Life 2 single player. I'm sure it's okay for multiplayer too. Uh, I haven't done it though, but. You can tr you can test it, see if it works. I'm gonna put this in uh, 
Let's see what folder am I working on at the minute? I yeah, put it in C. Right, C. This would be where the source code that you would modifying would be placed in the game. Um. Right, so you can just hit that there and it's going to copy over all your header and CPP files and solution files over to the C drive in this folder here, written this folder, and here we go, tutorial mod. See, I've already got my supernatural one here, which is everything I need for my mod, and whatever you name your mod will, will sit in this folder here. So, once it is completed, copying over all that stuff, uh, I'll show you what you have to do then. Alright, so it is finished. Um, copying these over. You'll notice that the buttons are slightly screwed up in SDK. I think that's just my version. I don't know actually why it's doing that. But that's okay. If you're used to the usual window interface, that's okay. So You can open the ID file. That'll bring you to the Valve Developer Community where you'll find a good few tutorials as to how to start modding. And uh, it will get there. And now you can go into the air. Probably where this folder would be would be in the C drive where I showed you. But um, just sure you know where you saved it uh, so into source and down here you'll find an SLN game episode 2005 SLN solution file for Visual Studio 2005 so go on ahead and open that up you can close source SDK as well 